Hi students, today we are learn about process of RDNA technology. This is the most important question in inter-second year botany. So in this lesson two questions are very important. This is the first one process of RDNA technology and tools of RDNA. Which tools are uses in RDNA technology? That is the second question. See here we learn first process of RDNA technology. So in this process involved these steps first one is isolation of dna cutting of dna separation of desired dna insertion insertion of dna fragment to plasmid transformation into host cell clones of rdna obtaining of rdna product downstream process these steps are involved in rdna technology so first of all what is rdna rdna means combine two different dnas okay the two different dnas combine with ligases then the new dna is formed that is rdna so here first we are selecting foreign dna and selecting bacterial cell in this first of all isolation of dna in this isolation of dna we are using high detergents powders to open the cell wall and come out dna along with the proteins and uh, um, lipids and uh, proteins etc okay this is isolation of dna see here this is the dna released out okay next step cutting of dna fragments see here restriction enzymes are used in cutting of dna restriction enzymes like uh, restriction endonucleases like ligases chitinase cellulase so lysozymes these are the restriction enzymes so restriction enzyme used to cutting of dna into fragments next to one separation of desired dna see here we are selecting bacterial cell and separation of desired dna this is the plasmid plasmid means circular dna molecule is called plasmid or this is vector dna separation of desired dna and next one is this separation of desired dna in process of electrophoresis okay this is the separation of desired dna next one insertion of dna to plasmid so here these dna fragments are inserted into plasmid using of ligase enzyme okay this ligase enzyme joining both dnas foreign dna and plasmid dna see here when these dnas are joining the then new dna is formed that dna is called r dna so next step transformation into host cell this r dna transfer into host cell here host cell is ichthyosia coli so this transformation is four types but mainly two methods are we are using this process first one transformation and next one micro injection method so see here rdna transferred into host cell okay next one clones of rdna these bacterial cell clones of rdna rdna multiplied after that cell division occurs in this process so many bacterial cells are produced after that obtaining of rdna product okay next to last step downstream process so this is the downstream process in this process we are purified the product and testing the product okay when we um, send it to the market then we are testing this rdna okay next we are learn about into step by step students today we are discuss about the various process of recombinant dna technology so this is the most important question in second year body okay so see here in this lesson process of recombinant dna is the first question and next one what are tools in uses in recombinant dna so this is our two important questions so see here first one 
various process of recombinant DNA technology. See here, what is recombinant DNA? So see here, recombinant DNA means first we are selecting foreign DNA and vector DNA and then fragments to these DNAs and attached with ligases then produced new DNA so that new DNA is called as recombinant DNA so this recombinant DNA is used in genetic engineering and biotechnology techniques okay see here first process of recombinant DNA see here few steps are there first one in recombinant DNA technology process various steps are there first one isolation of DNA second one cutting of DNA separation of DNA fragments insertion of isolated gene into suitable vector insertion of RDNA into host cell obtaining the foreign gene product downstream processing these are the steps involved in recombinant DNA technology so see here first one isolation of DNA first step isolation of DNA so see here isolation of DNA nucleic acid is the genetic material of all organisms we are observe all organisms in world each cell is made up of DNA okay so this is the main genetic material in the cell next one restriction enzymes like lysozyme cellulase chitinase can be used to cut the DNA okay so restriction enzymes is cut the DNA into fragments okay so here some examples of restriction enzymes lysozyme cellulose chitinase okay here see lysozyme cuts the bacterial DNA lysozyme cuts the bacterial DNA cellulose cut the plants DNA okay next one sorry plants DNA RNA so cellulose cuts the RNA and chitinase okay this chitinase cut the fungus fragments so these are the restriction enzymes these enzymes can be used in cut the DNA for that matter DNA must be in pure form and free from other compounds okay this DNA matter is pure form and free from other compounds other compounds like cellular organisms proteins lipids carbohydrates so that's all next one we have to break the cell open to release DNA along with RNA proteins polysaccharides and lipids so first step cut the DNA into fragments next one we have to break the cell okay first step is we have to cut the break the cell okay then open release DNA along with RNA and proteins polysaccharides lipids okay so this is the first step open the cell and release the DNA along with the RNA proteins polysaccharides and lipids next one dissolution of biological membranes takes place by using high detergents protease and ribonucleases okay so in this isolation of DNA first one select the DNA material okay next one cut the cell okay open to the cell or break the cell open to release DNA along with RNA proteins like that okay so next step dissolution of biological membranes like cell wall or uh, inner side membranes takes place by using high detergents okay dissolution of biological membranes so these membranes are dissolved by using high detergents proteases and ribonucleases and next one purified DNA ultimately precipitate out after the addition of chilled ethanol okay when we added chilled ethanol then ultimately DNA precipitate out 
okay after that see here after that purified dna looks like a fine threads and can be separated by spooling process okay this is the first one isolation of dna so here this is the cell selecting cell first step is break the cell wall okay see here this is break the cell wall open to dna along with the rna proteins okay this is the first one in isolation of dna second step dissolution of biological membranes here this is our cell wall membranes okay plasma membrane or cell walls so second step is dissolution of these membranes using high detergents and proteases ribonuclease second step after that purified dna ultimately precipitate out after the addition of chilled ethanol when we added to chilled ethanol then dna precipitate comes out this purified dna looks like a fine threads okay thread like structures and can be separated by spooling this is the first step isolation of dna next one cutting of dna at specific location only okay second step here see this is the purified dna threads are comes out next one these threads cutting at specific place specific location okay see here purified dna cut into a number of fragments by restriction enzymes this process is called restriction endonuclease digestion okay this is the cutting of dna first step in isolation of dna pure dna threads are comes out next one these purified dna threads cuts into fragments by using of restriction enzymes these restriction enzymes cut the dna so this process is called as restriction endonuclease digestion okay these restriction endonuclease digestion are performed by incubating purified dna molecules with the at the optimal conditions for that specific enzyme okay see here this digestion process is performed by incubating purified dna molecules okay incubating the purifying dna molecules with the at the time of optimal conditions okay these optimal conditions for that specific enzyme okay specific enzyme next to one agarose gel electrophoresis is employed to check the progression of restriction endonuclease digestion so in this restriction endonuclease digestion process is check the progression by agarose gel electrophoresis okay so after that the process is repeated with vector dna also this progression process is also repeated with vector dna so this is the cutting of dna into specific at the specific location see here this is a purified dna in first step isolation of dna purified dna comes out next step this purified dna cut at specific location okay see here restriction enzymes cutting dna at a specific location so this is the second step okay next